I can treat you like a nine to five, but I want to take you on vacation. So hi guys. Um, before I even start a video, I know that um, well I just took my hair and if you. I know that you know I have flakes and stuff up in here so if you guys notice that I apologize in advance I'm going to be washing my hair tomorrow but anyways um if you guys have not watched my video on the whole shame moisture controversy basically I noticed that a lot of people in the comment section of that video there was a handful of people bitching how you know yes what shame moisture did was very wrong but it's just like how can we you know get upset about something like this when we're participating in this whole hair typing system and you know stuff of that nature you guys don't know what hair typing is hair typing is basically when an individual is labeled based off of their hair texture so basically the lower the number is and the lower the letter is the looser that person's hair texture is and the higher the number is and the higher the letter is, the coarser that person's hair texture is. So for example, if someone is in a type 1 category, they tend to have more straight, straighter hair. And someone who's in the type 4 category tends to have coarser, kinkier hair texture. Basically, like, I agree with a lot of the stuff that they were saying because, in a sense, hair typing separates us into these different categories and it's like instead of trying to separate one another what we should be doing is coming together and um, not give another reason for us to separate ourselves more and it also gives room for te texture discrimination and things of that nature but i do kind of feel as though Hair typing can be seen as something that is beneficial in a sense only because, say for instance, I have 4C hair. I'm just hypothetically speaking, I'm just trying to make up a scenario. Say for instance, I have 4C hair, and I'm trying to figure out how do I do a wash and go on my 4C hair. What I might do is I'm going to look for a YouTuber or just um, a list of YouTubers who have 4C hair and see how they were able to perform their wash and go on their particular hair type so it gives that person um some clarity on how their hair is going to turn out because the person that they're watching has the same hair texture as them i just feel like as though it it does have some benefits to it as well because someone who does have 4C hair might do a completely different technique on how to do a wash and go as opposed to someone who has curlier hair. Personally with me, um, I tend to watch more YouTubers who have similar hair textures as me. I just tend to lean more, lean towards more people or lean towards more YouTubers who have 4A, 4B, 4C hair. So and I hope nobody takes any offense to what I'm saying. It's just that. But I do also feel as though a lot of people have the misconception just because someone has the same hair texture as them that they must use the same products as them. And I feel as though just because Sally has the same hair as me does not mean that the products I use will work for hair because everybody's hair is different no matter their texture, the hair type. Everybody's hair takes different things so it's just like people have to take that in consideration when they do things like that because I myself, I'm in type 4 category, I might have high porosity hair but someone else who has the same hair texture as me might have low porosity hair so it's just like people with different porosity levels use different types of products or use different types of techniques to retain moisture in their hair or you know whatever the case may be but I just basically wanted to just talk about this topic from both sides of the spectrum because yes like I said before there are some positive things to hair typing but there can also be some negative sides to hair typing as well let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the whole situation or just about hair typing in general and i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye